Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2023 IFBB Pro League Sin City Pro Wellness results. A small show, but an amazing show. These women were gorgeous. And I've got more recaps still coming your way, so stay tuned for those. All right, so in terms of Olympia, it's last year's top three who are automatically qualified. And then it's the winner of each contest during the qualification period. So we're past the halfway point now of the qualification period. The list is growing and it is only the winner of these shows that gets to go. There's no points. There's no tiered system. All eyes are on the winner. So here's the scorecard. In first place, Danielle. Second, Andrea. Third, Marina, fourth, Jessica, and fifth, Erwa. So here's Erwa in fifth place. Oh my gosh, her conditioning is amazing. All of that detail in her leg, so good. I love how you see so many different distinct parts of her quads. You've got such a sharp line coming down the side of her leg. Her abs are super lean. She really, really came in conditioned. Uh, when we get to the back pose, it makes me wonder if maybe she was a tad, just a hair too lean. Maybe a tiny bit more softness and fullness wouldn't have been bad, but I'm extremely impressed. I think it looks amazing. She just looks wicked. Um, I love her suit. Check out all of these beautiful crystals and the matching lipstick. Like she nailed it. I think she looks absolutely stunning. Where she could potentially improve is to have a bit more size in the glutes. I think she's got gorgeous shape and nice, um, you know, nice proportions on her own frame. But I think when I look at her compared to the other girls in the lineup, there's a lot more glute on some of the other athletes. So she could have more height and more size right up in there. But, um, and you know what, maybe even a little more size in the upper body, more size in like, like more size everywhere, but particularly the glutes. But overall, I'm extremely impressed. I think she looked absolutely amazing and what a fifth place. Okay, next and fourth is Jessica. Stunning. Love the suit color. What a great, bright fuchsia. Oh man, it looks beautiful. And so she's got a softer level of conditioning and I think it looks really good. She's got nice, round, full legs. Her glutes look really bubbly, um, very nice size. From behind, particularly, Jessica looks amazing. She's got a nice small midsection, beautiful curves in her um, upper body. Like I think she looks just really nice, very full, very beautiful. I do think she could have in this front pose a little bit more of a curve here. I think it she has almost a dip in the side of her glutes. So if if she could fill that out, man, that might be as simple as just turning the toe a slightly different angle to pull out some of that curve. And while I do love how full she looks, I think compared to the others, she could have been a tiny bit more conditioned, like a little bit sharper of a line in the delts, a little bit more detail coming through on the legs, but just a little tiny bit. Overall, I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, Marina in third place. Love it. She looks so good. She's got such a nice, round, beautiful shape to her glute and great size. Um, definitely a lot of muscle in her lower body, great curves to her quads. Um, I do think that she could pose a little bigger. She's quite short in stature. She's not the biggest uh, lady on the stage. And I find that she looks almost condensed. So if she could um, have her feet a little further apart, I think it would give you a better view of her hamstring. It would make her just come across as larger, larger than life. And even if she could pump up the upper body and really like puff up and open up the chest, pull back the shoulders, like just be bigger and bolder. And I think that would do wonders for her overall shape um, because she's got an absolutely amazing amount of muscle. 
beautiful conditioning. You've got nice detail coming through on her hips. I love the curves in her quads. Her abs look amazing. I'm not crazy about the yellow suit. I think it's a bit monotone with the tan. Maybe if she could come in darker in the skin, then the yellow would pop more. Um, But I would love to see her in like a royal blue. I think that would look amazing with her hair or a purple. The the yellow is very bright and eye-catching and beautiful, but I'm not crazy about it. Okay, next in second place is Andrea gorgeous posing. She looks big. She looks open. She's showing off the curves, particularly the curves of her back. And wow, what a great glute. When I compare her to the Tampa show, I feel like the conditioning is a tiny bit softer. You could see a bit more detail in the quads, um, but you still have great abs, gorgeous obliques, really nice detail in her arms. And I think the softening of the conditioning is really good. It's, it's giving you a great look at her glutes without being distracted by the lines. Like, I think it's just overall a really nice shape. She's got a beautiful silhouette. Her posing, like I said, is absolutely amazing. Um, her hamstrings look nice and curvy. Overall, she's just really beautiful. I preferred this photo in that the shoulders were a little bit more level. In this photo, this arm is a little bit lower, but it's just a photo. A second later, she could have adjusted. Um, And in terms of the suits, both of them are beautiful, but I love the fit and the color of this one. I think it's really beautiful with her highlighted hair, her skin tone, the backdrop. It's it's gorgeous. And I, I do like just how it flatters her shape. Um, overall, I think she looks really amazing. Okay, and now in first place is Danielle. Wow, she looks so good. Her glutes are massive. She's got beautiful quads and check out that nice detail coming through on the back leg. Just a tiny bit sharper and easier to see than at the Portugal show. I think her tan looks impeccable. Absolutely stunning. She's so dark. She's got gloss on the hip here. I think it looks so good. Um, Loving all of the shine on the quad. Her abs are tiny. Her posing looks really good. She looks more open and twisted than she did here. Um, And I know it's just the angle potentially of the photographer, but to me, she just really nailed it at this show. The posing, the tan, conditioning. Wow. Her glued shape looks really good, and she's extremely impressive from behind. And you know what? That suit is beautiful. It's not like a royal blue. It's got a little bit more depth and deepness to the color. And I think it looks great. And I love the red lips. And check out the darker hair too. It's like everything is just a little bit more sophisticated. She's very dark, luxurious, amazing. Okay, so here's a side-by-side. I know it's a small picture, but I didn't want to blur it too much by zooming in. You can see how amazing these women are, and some of those things, I think, stand out quite clearly. So, Irwa, definitely more size in the glutes. Um, Marina could open up her posing more, just be a bigger personality. Uh, Jessica, maybe a tiny bit more sharpness on the conditioning. She could relax that arm a little bit so it's not so curved. Uh, Andrea, absolutely stunning shape. I love her posing. She's just really beautiful. And Danielle, that tan, her lines, gorgeous. I do, uh, I think she would look good if she could manage going into a slightly higher shoe. I think it would elongate her leg. I know wellness is not about long and lean, but I do think it would be a nice compliment to her shape. But overall, like everybody looks really beautiful here. And check out those delts on Danielle. Gorgeous. Okay, now from behind, this is where Danielle really shines. Her glutes are so long. And not only that, they're extremely full in the width. From like this point right to here, it's just pure muscle and just so rounded and full. Um, Andrea's glutes don't look quite as large or as sharply outlined on the sides as Danielle's. I think um, 
Erwa, this is where I'm saying maybe a tiny bit too lean. She's got some striations in the glutes, so I'm loving the detail in the tie-ins. Uh, I'm definitely impressed by Jessica here. I think she's got a really great arch in her back. She's showing off the glutes nicely. Um, she's got a lot of width on the top. Um, Marina, I think maybe could reduce her stance, come bring the legs in a little bit closer. Same with Jessica, honestly. Um, and she's got great height, really nice tie-ins, particularly on the inside. But Danielle's glutes are just so prominent. They're so large and so beautifully outlined. I also thought that Andrea could have a bit more hair. She's got a beautiful shape, nice small waist, but she could definitely cover some of the skin on her back and keep that triangular shape that she has in the cut. But I, I would definitely just have a little bit more coverage. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, there she is, qualified. And there are more shows coming up this weekend, so make sure you subscribe, give me a like if you like this video, comment your thoughts below, and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.